Welcome to today's edition of Trojan Talk. My name is Simon Brown. Today, I am joined by Chris Daigle from St. Augustine, Florida. Chris, how are you? I'm great, Simon. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. It's a pleasure. Starting off, can you tell us the story behind this film festival? Sure. So the short history is that we started this Yellowhammer Film Festival in 2020, and this was truly uh, birthed out of the pandemic, having everything shut down. And I wanted to give our motion graphics and video students an opportunity to showcase their 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 work from classes outside of the typical university classroom setting. And then I just reached out to a handful of people from kind of my inner circle that I either went to undergrad or grad school with, or that I worked with previously and said, hey, would you mind coming and being a guest speaker, you know, at this little festival? And they all they all were very excited to be a part of it. And the majority of them are still, a matter of fact, involved today going into our fourth season. And so that's how, how we kind of came to be. Last year, you saw a larger turnout than what was originally expected. What does that say about this festival? So primarily, it says that it's truly catching on and people are learning about it and hearing about it. And when you're doing something grassroots like this, it does take a lot of internal you know, attention. And you're trying to get folks from Troy and the Troy area, Montgomery and Birmingham, Mobile, that are you know very involved with it. And uh, we've been very successful in doing that and getting schools that, you know, want to be a part of it and uh, and reaching out beyond the state of Alabama as well to gain some national exposure. So this year we had 548 submissions, 548 films in three divisions, high school films, college films and animations. What kind of opportunity does this give community members slash film enthusiasts? So community members, it gives them an opportunity to come and to maybe experience a full day's worth of programming that otherwise they they wouldn't necessarily have access to. We're going to have guest speakers uh, from Netflix Animation Studios. We're going to have guest speakers from uh, that are filmmakers out in California working on productions. We're going to have people from all over the the continent that are going to be really chiming in and helping us, you know, deliver some really rich content from college and high school filmmakers all the way up to working professionals in the field. So it's gonna give them a really good, you know, uh, well-rounded, robust view of what's going on in the industry, but then also what's going on in the classrooms around the country. When and where is this film festival going to take place? So this year's festival is taking place on October 30th from essentially from noon until about 10 p.m. It's going to be live on Zoom and it will be recorded as well. And those recordings will be accessible via our website in the days following the festival. But we hope that people will come and join us on the Troy's amazing campus at the Quality of Crosby Theater. Chris, thank you so much. And thank you for joining on today's edition of Trojan Talk.